Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Aaron Hemingway and welcome back to Hemingway's class. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how simple it is to set up the student view for um, your student's unique learning systems account. I know that I really struggled with it when I first tried to start setting it up and I once I messed around with it a little bit, I discovered how simple it is and how simple it will be for your students. It might take a little bit of work on the upfront, but um, after that, uh, getting logged in is super simple. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started and I will walk you through it. So obviously you're gonna wanna go to n2y.com and log in. Log in as a teacher. And then my stuff's already in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And then I'm gonna go down to Unique Learning Systems. Over here, My Students. And then if I go down, I'm gonna click on Manage Student Login Links for Classroom right here. And I already made this one, but just for this example's sake, um, if you click on add new link right here, then it will give you this right here. So click this little box that has an arrow coming out of it. It'll open it up in a separate tag or separate tab. Okay, and then right here, no matter what platform you're on, it will give you directions, but um, it is assuming that I am on a PC using Google Chrome, which is correct, but you can also do this on a Chromebook or on a Mac as well. But uh, what I'm gonna do right here is click to minimize oh I guess it was already oh no okay so I'm going to minimize that and I'm just going to drag it down a little bit and then right here on this little lock I'm going to drag that over here and you should get something that says my classroom login and then after that go ahead and sign out. But before I do that, I also want to know if you're on a Chromebook, you can click these three dots right here. Go down to more tools and then click on create shortcut. And it should um, create the shortcut and place it down here on a Chromebook. Um, for a Mac, you're pretty much going to do the same thing that I'm doing right now. So let me go ahead and log out. And then I'm going to close this window. And then here's my link right here. And see, it's going to give me all my students. And if you just click on them, um, I had uh, all my students save their passwords on here. When you log in for the first time, you'll get a little prompting notification somewhere up here in the right-hand corner that says, do you wanna save your password for this site? If they're on a computer that they are gonna be using all the time, like in my class, since we are a special day class, I have assigned one computer to one student. And again, my students use um, Chromebooks. So I did have them save their um, password. This right here, this is my daughter. I made a sample account for her just to show you. So see her password's already saved. So I'm gonna click sign in. And I have not set up the student view for her which I can show you how to do that in a separate video. But anyway, if, if I had a bunch of green uh, squares would have shown up with all the different lessons on them. So that's how you do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Um, again, I'm a special ed teacher, so I, I specifically try to focus on using technology 
to help our students that have disabilities. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, uh, leave a comment down below and I will look for you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.